everyone is excited for this season opening Go. contest. That includes the fans, but even more so the players. Well, there's nothing like a season opening contest. Yeah, both teams would love to kick things off with a big win. So expect to see them giving their all on the floor here tonight. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with DeAnthony Melton, and it's Harris in at the small forward position. Here's Wade. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. On the wing, Mitchell. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Melton. Just five on the clock. Ooh, stolen by Harden. Now here's Harris. Eight points in his last timeout. On the wing, Harden. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Outside Mitchell. Takes the three. And no good. The 76ers go the other way with it. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. They beat this team last time largely because of the massive free throw disparity. Yeah, did a really good job of going foul after foul. Very physical and rugged in how they perform. And it paid off. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. Harris passes to Tucker. Block again! Not exactly what they're looking for out of the gates. Just one of four shooting. Okoro. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That one on Melton. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. No good on that one. And he's good on the second. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Here's Harden. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Harris down low. And it's good for two. You know, you can't allow Harris to get comfortable there now, guys. I mean, once he gets the position that he wants, you're toast. Pass to Mobley. Back to Levert. Mobley on a screen. Levert, that's good. You've got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Harden. Here's Embiid. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. You know, Harden's done a nice job really increasing his playmaking over the last few years and excels at finding teammates. Here's Okoro. Pass to Mitchell. Five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. The three from Okoro. Joel Embiid with the board. The 76ers have gone three of six from the floor. Levert goes against Harden. Melton passes to Harden. Mobley grabs the board. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. There's the triple. First shot won't go. 
That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Now Harden. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Embiid can't hit. The Cavaliers have called water four to begin this one. Levert with a ball from deep. Mitchell nails it from three. And it's a tie ball game. Boy, Karis Levert has done a nice job elevating his playmaking ability, which helps him and his team. Levert goes against Harden. Pass to Embiid. Here's Harris. And here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. Here's Harris. Here's Tucker. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. You know, when you're guarding Tucker, you've got to account for his jump shot. I mean, if you don't, he'll bite you. Now Mitchell. Three-pointer. And Tucker pulls it down. The 76ers have gone four of nine in this one so far. Now here's Harden. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Embiid. Clock at six. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Embiid is unstoppable, just too strong for the defense, no matter what they throw at him. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot injury. Give Philadelphia credit. They didn't rush MB back. They, in fact, trusted the process, pun intended, folks. And Joel has returned the favor. An MVP caliber center who changes a franchise. He is a franchise cornerstone piece. A great example of how being patient and doing what's best for the player ends up being a winning combination for all. Here's Mobley. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Heat in Miami. Here's Mitchell. Deflected. Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. Over a Coro. Harris's shot is good. Harris has got six. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now here's Levert. Coming off a 16-point game against Miami. Can they get it? The Cavaliers again cannot hit. The Sixers leading. And he's going for the oop here. Embiid misses. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Now here's LeBert. Now Mitchell. Lopez, the screen on Melton. The three from Mitchell knocks down the triple. Six points for him. It does a lot for their spacing when Mitchell's draining threes. That's what they want from him. He can really open things up for their bigs inside. Here's Harden. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Pass to Mobley. Over Tucker. And Mobley with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. And now just a three-point 76ers lead. Embiid with it. Shoots over Lopez. 
MP. Good. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Levert with the ball. Outside Mitchell. From outside the arc. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Pass to Melton. The three is up. That one no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. And here's Mobley. It's Levert on the wing. Puts up a three. Gets the three to fall. Levert's got five. Harris Levert, one of my favorite young players in the league. He's hard to guard because he's got a quick release, and he's very confident in his ability. Harris passes to Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. And here's Levert for three. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harris outside. Outside Harden. Screen by Embiid. Harden with it. And Lopez picks him up. Here's Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Clearly an MVP caliber talent now. Embiid continues to impress with his versatility on both ends. A man that big shouldn't be able to do the stuff that he does with the ball. And he knocks down the first one. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Osman, he's checked in for Mobley. Stevens comes in for Okoro. Green's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Levert. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Niang, he's checked in for Tucker. McDaniels comes in for Tobias Harris. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Melton. And Milton subbed in for James Harden. Both shots good from the strike. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Rubio passes to Lopez. There's the three. Osman with the bucket. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. And here's Milton. Embiid, high post, working on Lopez. Here's Milton. No good off the back of the rim. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And a trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Now, here's Green. Here's Rubio. You wonder if it's a good idea to foul Rubio there. I mean, he shot well under 40% from the field for his career, but at the line, he's north of 80%. For your Cavaliers, Ricky Rubio, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one drops. He ties it up. Reed's checked in for Joel Embiid. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And it's the Sixers with the ball. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 156 left to play in the first quarter. Back to Milton. It's stolen by Rubio. Fast break, Cleveland. Osman on the wing. Here's Niang. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Portland. Milton against Rubio. Milton, no good. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Green finds Rubio. Here's Osman. 
Back to Green from behind the arc. They get it again. Lopez can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Grab that one. However, so far, they're getting a little out-hustled on the boards. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of game left. Niang, no good. The Cavaliers leading. Left side, Rubio. Back to Osman. Lopez, the screen on McDaniels. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Philadelphia has gone one for three from beyond the arc. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And there's the screen. Pass to Reed. Oh, they need this. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Here's Osman. Launches a three. He's off on that one. Joel Embiid. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the 76ers. Dominating on the glass. What a quarter. Back after this. here in the second. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. The Cavs trailing. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. We've got Tobias Harris. Maxi out there with James Harden. Then there's George Niang, and it's Reed in at the five, down low. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Mitchell's got nine. This is Mitchell at his best. Such an aggressive score, always ready to shoot as soon as he catches it. Harden, the pass to Harris. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. The three from Mitchell, and the Cavaliers, another three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Throughout years of play, one thing that has stayed consistent in the game of James Hart is remarkable ability to facilitate. Pass to LeBert. Quarter number two, we're just over a minute of play. Here's Wade, launches it, and it's Niang with the rebound. You gotta admit that Harden just has a gift for finding assists, Clark. Yeah, he really does, B.A., and it's so amazing to watch. I mean, he's a guy that specializes in torching people one-on-one, -on -one. but he's also almost as good setting other people up. Maybe it all comes back to how good he is at reading defenders. And I think there's something to be said for that. Okoro is checked in for the Cavaliers. The 76ers also with a sub. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Reed. To the wing on the left. Hits the trifecta. And the Cavaliers lead by six. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but his star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. They set the pick. Mitchell against Maxi. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. 
He improved by over 12 percent with a huge increase in attempts as well. The first one falls and for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi Grant leveling up that three point shot changes everything for him. Oh so true B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. And the 76ers making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Cleveland has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Going beyond mere stats, Mitchell breathes life into this offense. His energy lifts everyone around him. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Cleveland. They've really been disruptive on the Shoot defensive two. end, forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. Yeah, on top of that, they've been resourceful defensively, generating scoring opportunities by forcing turnovers. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B.A., the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Both free throws good for Mitchell, and Grant Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45. Not one we see a lot of in the NBA. That's true, B.A., but Donovan's got a good reason to wear it. Paying homage to Michael Jordan. Mitchell said growing up, everyone always took 23, so he went to MJ's return number, 45. Embiid can't hit. The Cavaliers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. And it's Mitchell, that time on the assist by Okoro. Mitchell's got 16 points now. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Up top, Embiid. No luck on that one. And Cleveland will come the other way. When this one's over, they'll be off to Charlotte as they take on the Hornets. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. Outside Mitchell. Connects from downtown. Mitchell's got 13 points now in the quarter. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. And Philadelphia calls time here. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. He's on another level right now. Knocking down threes left and right. The defense isn't doing their job, and I think they've got to talk about it quickly. And now, he's going to the court. for the Sixers. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Three-pointer, Harden nails it. And he's one for five with that one. Harden's ball handling is absolutely off the chain insane. I mean, easily carving up the defense. Superb control. Got it on the string. 
Now here's Mitchell. 19 points in the game. Oh, stolen by Harris. Right side, Harden. The three ball. And they'll get another chance. Embiid can't hit. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. And there's a pick. To the left side wing. Mobley outside. Shot clock at five. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on Harris. Well, you know, Levert is pretty well put together at 6'7", which allows him to bang inside effectively. Shooting two. And he drops the first. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Both free throws good for Levert. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. Pass to Embiid. To the inside. Here's Harris. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And I tell you what, more brain-neutral plays like that one than they'll have a hole deeper than the one they're already in. Nettos checked in for Levert. Melton against Mitchell. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. Pass to Tucker. Outside Harden. Screen by Embiid. Harden into the lane. And then Harden with the jam ferociousness from Harden looking like he wants to tear the rim off. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Sixers. Here's Harden. He's got five. Pass to Tucker. Now here's Embiid. Now Melton. Back to Embiid. Down to five on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. Mitchell grabs a miss. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Pass to Wade. Back to Mitchell. Rebound by the 76ers. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Harden with a bucket. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Pass to Wade. Here's Neto, defended by Harden. Neto's shot is good. After a cold first quarter, they've brought up their field goal percentage, trying to build out this lead right now. Harden with it. Give him eight. Mobley with the block. Mitchell against Melton. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Here's Neto, outside Mitchell. The three. It's another three for Cleveland. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor if you want to win. They have loads of confidence from three-point land right now. And a foul called on the way up. The 
So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Harden, the former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A. I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. That's good from Harden. An effective playmaker and a more efficient scorer, Harden continues to be a highly productive player. For the Cavaliers, Lopez, he's checked in for Wade. Osman comes in for Evan Mobley. And Rubio is subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. And he makes both free throws. The Cavaliers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Cleveland calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Pass to Okoro. To the paint. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Their focus has been sharp tonight. You can see it in one way from the foul line, shooting almost 90% from there. line for your Cavaliers with two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Philadelphia has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Embiid a screen on Rubio. Pass to Embiid. Takes a three. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Embiid's got 12 points in the game. And you know, the coaching staff wants Embiid to take these quick shots. Uh, it helps establish a rhythm for him. Lopez can't hit. The 76ers have gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Embiid passes to Harden. Back to Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. You'd think that MB would always go inside, but with his stroke, the mid-range is a good option, too. Here's Rubio. Off the mark there with a three. Philadelphia has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. And he lobs it up to the rim. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. 
it actually almost makes it a little more special. Grace over power is how I would look at it. And here's Rubio. Pass to Osman. Just five to shoot. Over Tucker. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Stevens is checked in for the Cavaliers. Substitution on the court. Side Milton, Niang a screen, down low. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Ricky Rubio. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had the foul and keep him from converting the easy buck. Two. From falls for him. George Niang, not a guy who sees a bunch of minutes, but he certainly makes the most of opportunities as they come his way. That one misses. Hey, Clark, what does George Niang bring? Well, you like to get the ball in his hands when you can, but he's most dangerous, I think, when he's playing the four because he can spot up and shoot the three pretty easily, and he's got kind of a sneaky old man's post-up game, too. Now here's Milton. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Harris. on the clock. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Cavaliers leading. There's a minute 54 left in the second quarter. Now Lopez. To win the drought. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. At the line for your Cavaliers, Ricky Rubio. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Green is checked in. House, he's checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Melton. That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is how you win games. Get to the stripe and knock down your free throws. Pass to House. Minute 32 left to play in the first half. Well done on the glass. Gets himself in position where he can use his size. Outside Rubio. Here's Osman. And Reed pulls it down. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. Pass to Maxi. At the line for Cleveland, Lamar Stevens taking two shots. Shooting two. He's off on the first. Evan Mobley. He's checked in for Lopez.
And he sinks the second. 52 seconds left in the second. Outside Maxi. Niang a screen. High arcing shot. Cavaliers with a rebound. They've led by as much as 10. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. And since the first quarter, we've seen them reduce their attempts from downtown. And quite frankly, I think that's a good idea. I know there's some teams out there that would prefer to just shoot their way out of a slump, but... You know, getting a few to drop from in close or inside the arc is often a good way to get your whole offense going. Free throw good, Mobley. And we've got 28 seconds left in the second period. Milton against Rubio. Over to the left wing, Niang, and it's off from three-point range. Here's Osman. Pass to Stevens. Here's Rubio. No good on the three. And so it's Cleveland closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. They've been very effective from the three-point line. That's the key for them so far. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. I know you cannot be happy with this team's play in the first half. What will you tell them they need to improve on? The score and our effort, our offense. They're just playing harder. They're more physical. They're tougher. Honestly, we're very lucky right now. Lots to improve on in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Hello and good evening. We are seeing Donovan Mitchell putting in work. Such a consistent offensive force. You hear that? Somebody called the fire department on this guy. He's torching anyone they throw at him on defense. They're attacking from every angle. It'll take more than a sprinkler system to cool him off at the half. Man, he's been phenomenal. All right, now let's check out what the fans are saying on social media. And T Money 720 asks Kenny, I saw that highlight where Shaq dove for a loose ball and landed on top of you. How worried were you in that moment? Well, thanks for that question, T Money. I can't say. I wasn't concerned at all. Shaq is a gentle giant. It's okay, Kenny. Tell the truth. Okay, I was terrified. I had to check to make sure everything was okay and still working after I got up. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. happy you could join us we've got two quarters left to go in regulation what a game we're seeing from donovan mitchell they've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense and that's how he likes it and you know what they've come at him a few different ways defensively and nothing has slowed him down well for those just tuning in thanks for being with us second half of this game still to play okoro at the three with mobley at the four Karis LeVert is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Wade in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Now here's Harris. Pass to Harden. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got six rebounds in the game. Now here's LeVert. Jacks up a three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got five rebounds in the game. Outside Harden. Now Embiid. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got eight assists in the game. Tell you what, I don't know if any center in the league can score in as many ways as Embiid. Maybe Jokic, but those two are pretty much in the class by themselves. Embiid showing us everything tonight. Oh, stolen by Embiid. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. 
Outside Harden. Pass to Harris. Let's the three fly on target from range. Three. Harris has got 13. Boy, this is something that Harris has really enhanced in this game over time. Hard work paying dividends. Melton against Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. At the line for your Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell, two shots. And he makes a first. Both free throws good for Mitchell. The Sixers trailing. Outside Harden. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Harris, a screen on Levert. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, you know, Harden will do that every chance he gets. He cleverly goes into the defender looking for the contact to draw the foul, and nobody does it better. Take a break. Take a break. That's good from Harden. Hits them both. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Mobley, a screen on Harden. Pass to Okoro. To the inside, Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Counted from distance. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. There's a lot to like about Tobias Harris. His comportment, his versatility. He's adaptable. I think that stands out as well. I mean, he's had to play a lot of roles on different teams, and he's done them all at a high level. Four on the clock. The three from Mitchell. The shot no good. The 76ers go the other way with it. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. Pass to Tucker. Back to Harden. And Harden with the slam. Assistant. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Well, with Harris, he's willing to sacrifice a larger role for the betterment of his team, Clark. Yeah, and B, I think that speaks to his desire to play winning basketball, to play the game the right way, to play to his strengths and not try to do more than he can, whether he's looked at as a primary scoring option or simply being a spot-up shooter or one of three options. Harris has that disposition that says, I'll do whatever it takes. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Here's Mobley. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Tucker. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go.
And he drops a first. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grant. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds ways to help the team even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. Good on both. Here's Melton. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Embiid. Harris with it. Outside Tucker. Outside for Harden. Six to shoot. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Harden's got nine points now in the second half. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And the Cavaliers call time here. And now, please welcome to the court, the powerhouse dance team. Here are the Cavaliers now. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. And Harden gets the double team. Here's Embiid. He's rebounded by Okoro. For Cleveland, they've gone only one for six here in the second half. And there's the lob. Oh, got a piece of it. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Here we go, one on one. Here's Embiid. Oh, and Mobley with the block. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game. And he is not about to give up an easy look. Harden from outside. And they get it back. The ball's knocked loose. Okoro on the wing. Pounded by Harris. And Mobley throws it down. Ooh. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers. Game changers. Momentum shifted. Especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Offensive rebound. Harden. They had a number of cracks at it. Just came away empty-handed. Here's Okoro. Pounded by Harris. It's Levert on the wing. Five to shoot. This for the tie! And Mobley with the layup. Mobley's got 13. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. 
Mitchell against Melton. Pass to Tucker. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. Yeah. Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Harden. 19 points in the game. Clock at six. No good there. Good D by Mobley. Pass to Wade. Now Levert. Outside Mitchell for the lead. Rebounded by James Harden. Harden's got six rebounds here tonight. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this boy. Man. Here's Embiid. On the mark with the 15-footer. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Here's Okoro. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Harris outside. Melton finds Embiid. Goes back up. Can't hit that one. And it's Cleveland the other way. Outside Mitchell. Knocked loose. Oh, stolen by Harden. Pass to Melton. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. And the 76ers lead by four. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. Here's Wade. Embiid covers. And Mitchell puts up a deep three. Drills it from deep. Mitchell's got 27. This has been a running theme for him. Hit a number of threes in the first half. Now nails another. And Philadelphia calls time here. Different look for Cleveland. Osman, he's checked in for Wade. Stevens comes in for Okoro. And Rubio is subbed in for Levert. And some changes here for the 76ers. Gives him the lead. Mobley's got 10 points here in the second half. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. 
They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. One other thing I've liked is how assertive they've been on D, swatting a good number of shots away as a result. So it's Philadelphia now. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago. McDaniels. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. First one falls for him. Good on the second, so he makes them both. The Cavs trailing. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 27. Now Maxi. Pass to Milton. Back to Maxi. From deep. Cavaliers with a rebound. Mobley's got nine rebounds now. Outside Rubio. Mobley with it. Over Milton. Mobley, no good. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Milton up top, covered by Rubio. Milton passes to Maxi. McDaniels, a screen on Mitchell. Here's Maxi. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On Sunday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Cavaliers shooting around 35% from the field so far. Mobley, a screen on Milton. Rubio passes to Mobley. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Rubio's got three assists in the game. Pass to Reed. A minute 37 left in the third quarter. Milton against Rubio. Just five on the clock. The Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Outside Mitchell. Milton with a steal. Right side Maxi. Outside McDaniels. They set the screen. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Mitchell. Shooting for Philadelphia, Jalen McDaniels taking two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Green's checked in for Cleveland.
No good on the second free throw. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Pass to Rubio. Mobley outside. Here's Osman. Fires from deep. The shot no good. Milton with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. It's McDaniels on the wing. Green covering. Just five to shoot. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Pure from three-point range. And the 76ers lead by four. And the Cavs shooting a disappointing 38%. Milton against Rubio. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Rubio's got six. High percentage look there, guys. Rubio's best chance to score, and he maxed it out. Tyrese Maxey at the line two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. That's good as he hits both shots. James Harden. He's been the guy making things happen for Philadelphia. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. We'll be right back after this word. now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. They've got Joel Embiid. Tobias Harris out there with George Niang. Then it's James Harden. And it's Maxi in at the two. Guys, it's hard to shake Harden off his game. He's so strong and skilled. He keeps his balance right where he needs it. Now here's LeBert. They set a pick. Shoots over Harden. The shot by LeVert, no good. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Pass to Nia. And here's Embiid. He's checked by LeVert. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist from Maxi. Embiid's got 20 points. The Cavs trailing. LeVert outside. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Okoro, hounded by Harris from six feet away. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Harris. At the line for your Cavaliers. Isaac Okoro taking two shots. First one falls. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The Sixers leading. For three, Maxi. The rebound by Osman. 
Osmond's got his fifth rebound in this one. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. There's a screen. And here's Levert for three. Rebound by the 76ers. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. And Embiid gets the double team. Screen by Embiid. Harris passes to Embiid. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, you can't go for the shot fake. As soon as Embiid has you in the air, it's over. You're done. Taking two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Mitchell's checked in. And Embiid drops them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Okoro on the wing. Hounded by Harris. Drops in the three. Mitchell's got 30. Putting on a shooting clinic from deep. He had that huge first half, and he's still rolling. Pass to Embiid. From deep. Is rebounded by Okoro. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Levert up top, defended by Harden. The three from Mitchell. The shot won't fall. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Back to Harris. Here's the three. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. You know, the mindset Harris has is one that allows him to be ready to shoot as soon as that ball touches his hands. Catch and fire. Pass to Wade. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. That free throw, no good. Mobley, he's checked in for Osman. The 76ers also with a sub. Tucker's checked in for Niang. He hits the second from the line. Here's Harden. Pass to Harris. Screen by Embiid from 12 feet. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Here's Wade. Mobley passes to Levert. Fires from the wing. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Pass to Embiid. And here's Harden. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Harden's gotten four this quarter. After some misses in the first, he's making up for it now. From deep, Mitchell. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Pass to Harden. Harris outside. Shot clock at five. Puts it up from 12. Embiid. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. 
Tobias. And it's a 12-point Philadelphia lead. The Cavs have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. And here's Levert. Pass to Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Mitchell's got 33. Here in the second half, you see they've gone to the long ball to try to keep up. Now here's Harden. Here's Embiid. He's rebounded by Okoro. For Cleveland, they've gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Now Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Mobley, a screen on Maxi. The shot by Levert, no good. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Harden. Embiid, high post. Over a Coro. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harden. Embiid's got eight points in the quarter. Levert with the ball. Outside Mitchell. Fires the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harden's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Puts it up from 17. They get the rebound. Embiid. Good D by Mobley. Cleveland has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Back to Levert. From the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. And the 76ers call time here. Sixers making a change here. Melton's checked in. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He spoke to his club like they were down in the score. He told them, quote, we haven't won anything yet. Don't go easy. We've had all the leads like this, and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Back to you. Thank you for that, Allie. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on Karis LeVert. Well, you know, he may be the best player in the league at drawing contact, James Harden. I mean, he's really clever at getting his body into defenders. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. Yeah, something else I love that they're doing is driving into the lane and getting the shots they want in penetration. It's both from the stripes. Here's Levert. 
They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. To the paint. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. And the way LeVert moves the ball, it's all about doing what's best for the team from his eye. Harden against LeVert. From downtown, Harden misses. Cleveland has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Harden against LeVert. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Harris finds Embiid. Now here's Tucker. Melton outside. Pass to Embiid. Back to Melton. The three. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, the Cavaliers shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Now Levert. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Harden's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Harris right side. Here's Embiid. Drops in the layup for two. Embiid's got 28. Hey, good luck trying to move Embiid off the block. If Joel has position, there's not much anybody can do to stop him. From deep, Mitchell. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Melton. Outside Harden. Melton against Mitchell. And here's Harris outside. Sinks the tray. Harris has got six here in the quarter. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. is checked in for the Cavaliers. This calf squad is struggling. to Mitchell down to five on the shot clock that's tipped stolen by Melton Harden the pass to Harris he can't get that one to fall Cleveland shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began Harden against Levert now Mitchell looking to end the run the rebound by Melton he continues to let it fly, but the makes have been few and far between. Pass to Embiid. Harris a screen. Melton against Mitchell. Melton misses. And it's Cleveland's ball. It's a 16-point game. Here's Levert. And here's Mitchell. 
Back to Levert. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Five on the clock. Outside Mitchell. The three is up. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. And Melton, here we go. And here's Harris outside. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. 10 of 14 from the field. Tell you what, seems like everything he's putting up is finding the net. And right now, Harris is simply balling out. Mitchell, the pass to Levert. A minute 35 left in the final quarter. Pass to Mitchell. 4-3. He drops it from range. Mitchell's got 39. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Sixers. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. And just two tough rebounding teams, but they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And with this victory, they have an edge in the season series at two games to one, with one more game to follow against this team. They've got one more game left against them, and there's no doubt they'll use this as a jumping off point to take another game off them later in the year. At least that's the plan. And one of the league's superstars, producing as he always does. What a terrific game for James Harden. Gotta respect the leadership he showed today. Made great reads and distributed the ball accordingly. Tremendous effort on the boards. He's been playing big all night. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Embiid. Outside Harden. From deep, Melton. That shot, no good. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Guys, thanks so much. DJ, congrats on the win. What do you think was the biggest factor for you guys tonight? I think this is pretty good, this whole game. Uh, everybody stuck to our principles. And more than anything, we just play hard. We play hard as crap tonight. Keeping it simple. Thanks, PJ. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, James Harden.